you didn't lose her, we're going hunting. Morning. Morning. What in the Sam hell you all got there, boy? Rolled snacks and then my last minute stuff was couldn't throw in until this morning. Okay. Ohio trip is started. Yes, sir. What do you think, boss? We're gonna go kill some deer, hopefully. Why aren't there any coolers under? Uh, I was driving down to get that mic. Got his in there. Where's yours? In the back. Where's mine? Figured no, it's in the back. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I did pay a strap one down and restrap when we get there. So that's true. I don't know how the heck to drive this thing at night. Why? This banner is way thing? too low. Did you put that on there? Nope. Came on there? Yep. Good. Uh, did kick in a butt? Nope. I don't do that. That's it. My neck stuff. like this in order to see out the damn window. I thought about taking and trimming her. I'll do that, but I think you just take a razor blade, and cut it. Anyways, anywho. Fixing to get on the road and uh, start to trek down to Ohio. That's right. Decided to get down there. Every, all the reports are saying that it's supposed to be good right now. So hopefully we're we're not too late. Hopefully we're catching it right, perfect. A couple guys we know that were down there uh, filled up in the last day or two, and they said they feel like we're hitting it just right. So. Yeah, they shall see. They said the last two days here have had rutting action. Before that, they didn't have anything. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, like Nick said, we'll be catching it right there. Not that we're just a little bit late. It don't matter either way. We're gonna have a hell of a time and have fun and enjoy it. It's our first time in a long time that just the five of us, the three brothers and mom and dad, are going on a trip. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, just enjoy the time and then deer's bonus. I mean, obviously everybody wants a deer, but yeah, that's not what a hunting trip is all about. Coolers down. Good morning, CD. Good morning. morning. Our, we're on vacation. Yeah. Okay, you also have all of your shit still here. I gotta get one. What's this one? Well, what's this one? It's finally here. We are uh, a couple final things to load in and then uh, we are on the road. Yes, sir. Ohio, here we come. I'm excited. Couldn't have come uh, fast enough. So we'll get everything back. set and then we'll be uh, ready to go. Coming back with some big box. Big box, mom big says. Box. Lovely Milwaukee traffic. Yeah, the one problem with having to go east to hunt is you got to deal with this every time. You got to go through Milwaukee, and then Chicago. we got to go through Chicago. We gotta go through Indianapolis. And they all got road construction and backups and your eight, nine hour drive becomes 12, 13. It uh, never fails. We always, no matter what time of the day we leave, middle of the night, middle of the day, we always hit the bad traffic. It gets bad all the time. Uh, yeah, that's the one nice thing with going west, you don't have to deal with any of this. You just stare at field, farm fields the whole time. Time for farm fields. I'll take farm fields over the uh, concrete nation anytime.
nearing the end of Chicago. I hate Chicago. Yep. If I never had to drive through Chicago in our day in my life, I'd be happy man. For sure. So, we're almost through. We already went through Milwaukee. We're almost through Chicago. We just got Indianapolis and Cincinnati and then... Got the home stretch. Yeah. But we're making decent time. Knock on wood that keeps up. Right. Um, yeah. We haven't seen any wildlife really. I thought maybe we'd see some deer around across the southern part of Wisconsin, but I think we've only seen two deer dead on the road. Yeah, and I haven't seen any dead ones, which is odd for this time of year. Yeah, so we're making decent time, and I hate driving. I hate going through traffic, going through cities. Dumbass drivers all over the place. Say, it wouldn't be bad if there weren't so many dumbass drivers. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be bad if we were driving all by ourselves. But tips. <laughs> but the worst part was the worst driver we had so far was the Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. <laughs> no, I just you get crazy ass drivers going way too damn fast, sporadic. It's just not our jam. I like going west. We don't have to go through all the big cities. So. Yep. But we shall make it. Westbound and down, but we're we're southbound, southbound and down. So, well, that's uh, that's about it for now. That's our update. I'm gonna go ahead and probably get something, and then we'll do that separate. Yeah. All right, we made it through Chicago. Chicago. Which surprisingly, I think that's the first time we we've ever made it through Chicago without having to be at a standstill. Yeah. My hip hurts. I don't know what's going on. Started yesterday. Quick crying. Yeah, so we're making good time and we are excited to get down there. Hopefully the next stop will be lunch. Topping the trucks off. Everybody making a potty break. away so uh, yeah unfortunately we're looking at all the bucks on our cameras at home so we'll uh, see hopefully they're moving like this down in Ohio well we've had our way out of the concrete cities and we're getting out in the countryside here a little going through Indiana we've seen a couple deer on the side of the road nothing alive yet. Windy. Lots of traffic. But hang in there. We'll get there. Now we made Indianapolis. So we got about two and a half hours and we go straight through here yet. Traffic hasn't been too bad. Mike's not stressed out yet. <laughs> this doesn't bother me. Been a lot of we're we're it's country roads, you know. We're out in the countryside here, so hasn't been too bad. But um, yeah, there's still enough traffic, as you can see. Everybody's constantly with road work and everyone dodging bullets here. So we're getting there. Starting to see some pretty good ridges and that. Not seeing lots of deer or anything along the road. There's some real pretty looking hunting country out here. Mike's still at the wheel. Holding in there. Still back here. Still back there. Here. It's warm, 65 degrees out. Yeah, it got warm, but you can kind of see up across. We're about an hour and a half from where we're hunting. It's starting to get steep already. So, we're almost there.
Alright, well, we have arrived. We gotta go up to the lodge, get checked in, figure out what cabin we got. Mom's job. Yep, I'll shut my door. And then, uh, head up there, get to our cabin, get everything unpacked. And, uh, take a look, see how many people are around. Saw a couple hunters out on the way in. So, we'll see. Get our stuff put together and see what the rest of the night has in store for us. Well, when you pull up to your cabin and there's a deer hanging right across from it, that's going to be a good sign. Another one doing a 10,000 point park here. Go made her, boys. Must be a Smells good. Oh my god, this is nice. Oh, it's a really nice. Oh, oh. No, it's that's just a little cool. bubble, that's all. Oh, that's all right. Is that nice? We have a screen porch? Yeah. Heck so we can yeah. set up all of our hunting stuff. Oh, dude, oh, heck yeah, this is pretty wicked, dude. Right here, I think. This is where I'm going to sit and have my coffee in the morning after I shoot my spike tomorrow. Oh, dude, I might show them all just two hanging out here. Nice <laughs> <laughs> sitting right out here. Heck yes. Okay, who's that? Sitting Huh? Home for eight nights. Home. <laughs> <laughs> I mm -hmm. saw that. Hey, who gets what? I call this one. I'm the oldest. Okay. You get a top bunk, so this is mine. <laughs> I'm going to say okay. Nick gets the other no, bottom Nick bunk because he's the second oldest. He wanted top. He, he called it at work. Top, but I think oh, I want we bottom. got a TV Bullshit. too. I think I want a bottom, Rich. Bullshit. You can have both tops. I'll take a bottom. Somebody should text and say we're up That's here. That's not fair. I text my wife. We got oh, whatever, Master. What's in here? Oh, no, I didn't get that far yet. Nice. Did you, did you check this out? The screen porch? Yeah. Yep. Hey. Bathroom. <clears throat> this is pretty slick. <laughs> Take Mama Dad's pillow. Did you check out what's in here? Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. It sounds like we're hitting it just right here. <laughs> Everybody we talk to is serious. I'm more known for driving all day. We're all cold at the fireplace. <laughs> what were you saying, Mitch? So everybody we talk to. The guys at the cabin next to us have two big bucks that they put down. Yeah, we'll try to get a little footage of that tomorrow. Yeah, yesterday or today they put them Yesterday. Mm -hmm. yesterday. Yesterday they shot There's both a, of them. A four king and a cross from us that had a night hanging there for three days and then we ran into no, so they just got loud. two guys in the campground. When did they shoot those bucks? Yesterday, didn't they? Yeah. Today. Today. Yeah. Shot both of them today. And they both saw two other bucks chasing those, so hopefully, yep. and the weather looks like it's going to be the same as today throughout the whole trip, so. Pretty much looks like a steady temperature, not... She's pretty chilly Not out there. Ideal. Not the cool but weather that we want. Of course, mom, mom is freezing. Mom's freezing and she has got the fireplace, fireplace going. <laughs> we, uh, we failed. We tried to get a campfire going because it's the camp, so you want to sit around a campfire. That was some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got it was expa expensive non burnable wood. <laughs> I think they sprayed it with flame retardant stuff. But it's a game plan for the morning, Nick. We're going to get up, go get our stuff set up for. I don't, know. I don't know if we're going to hunt tomorrow afternoon there, but we're going to go and get our stands and everything set, and then we're going to do some scouting. Check the cameras. Pull the cameras. Pull the cameras. See what's on cameras. <clears throat> do some scouting. Check out some of the areas that we've shot bucks in the past. Hopefully all of our cameras are still there. Yeah, That's find out what, what's thing, going hopefully. on with our cameras, and then... Because uh, we started with three cell cams, and we're down to one. One, now. Yeah. So our hope is everything is there, and that we can... Uh, See what you know, get some big bucks on camera, hopefully. <laughs> but we're gonna go scout the public in the afternoon, probably set up in the afternoon somewhere. I think we should dive in on, on the public where you guys hunt for the first couple of years and try doing some rattling and grunting, pull them yeah. up out of the bottom. Look if there's any sign there, anyway. Yeah, it's no, I'm just excited to thinking, get out well, there. Uh, go do some scouting, see what there is for buck sign. He said, Everybody we've talked to said that the uh. Rut is really firing up hard here, and uh, we should be catching it just right. So, but 
no, we can't have a campfire, so uh, we decided to turn the old boob to a and then... Good timing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got Baywatch, so you can't complain about that. Nope. And we got but, us a little fire in here. Yeah, nice it's fireplace. still cozy. It is very cozy. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, I shoot the bows in the morning, make sure everything's on. We shot, me and Mitch shot a little bit tonight, it looks yeah. good, but... I want to shoot tomorrow a little better light and... Make yeah. sure everything was good throughout the trip. Yeah. We could go and sit the afternoon and... Yeah, I plan to go sit somewhere out there. <clears throat> yep. We'll see what it's like when we get out there. Yeah. So, uh, alright, we'll catch you in the morning for breakfast. I'm going to break a couple of those, Mom, doesn't let the curve running. Oh, shell in there. See if we can get that out before she looks. Ah, that one just got a little roughage in there. <laughs> the first morning, just got up, or, well, we didn't just get up, but making some breakfast and uh, getting our stuff ready for the day. We're gonna head up there and get the stand so I get cleaned up and start hunting this afternoon. I decided to set the cameras, or check the cameras. I'm excited to see what we got on camera. The group across the lake here. Yeah, we came out here to uh, fire up the flat top, and I don't know if you can see it over there between the trucks, but they got another big one hanging. So they killed that last night. So everything we've been told is morning, morning, morning. Well, apparently they're moving in the afternoons as well. At least that one was. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but it's a nice cool morning. Beautiful out here. I looked at that, checked the weather, it was 48 degrees, so it's not cold, but cool. Feels cooler than that. It does feel cooler than that. But up here it always feels cooler. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast finished up here and uh, get our gear ready and head in. Yeah, pack our stuff up, go get our stand set, pull the cameras, come down, check the cameras out. Get cleaned up, shoot our bows a little yeah, bit. I'm gonna grab the plate. Shoot our bows a little bit and uh, head out to sit for the afternoon. So maybe by this time tomorrow morning we'll have one of those hanging. Who knows? All right, we're heading out. We are gonna go get into where we're hunting. Check out the spot, see if anybody else is hunting the area that we've scouted all summer. And uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed nobody's public, there. But public land, you never know. One, we're just hoping our cameras are still there. Yeah. Some of our cell cameras went offline and we're hoping that it'll just maybe something happened with the antenna or something, not that they're gone. So we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna obviously look for signs. See last year when we came in, this place was pretty tore up with rubs and scrapes, so our hope is that it looks like that again, obviously, but we have to see. We're gonna get in there, check everything out, and then set all of our stands, um, get out and head back to camp, get cleaned up, shoot our bows, shoot our bows get everything set, and then... Uh, head back in for the afternoon, it sounds like everybody. Yep. We've, we've flip-flopped our plans multiple times. We discussed about going in, setting everything up, coming back and then scouting some of the other public spots that we've hit in the past years to all of a sudden people are showing up with more and more bucks that are saying they're on their feet moving right now so it's hard to pass up the time that we have now knowing that there's bucks literally chasing does right now and it seems like I mean the first people we talked to that were being successful it sounded like they were morning to mid-morning to noon time but we seen a guy come in with a, a really, really big buck. The one that uh, we, we pointed out when we were making breakfast. Yeah, that one. Um, he had, we're assuming he shot it last night because he was not back when we when we went in for, after we tried to have fire, but when we went in for bed, he was not back. And so we're, we're assuming he shot that last night. And in this area, we have seen some deer close to, you know, nighttime and that's when mom shot her big one, so late uh, the evening hunt might be better than we think. Big 
group of hunters there. Yep. Pretty cool community down here. Everybody, well, this time of year, everybody's hunters. Yeah, and well, everything, this whole area, everything revolves around hunting from like middle of October till probably January, I would think. Yeah. So. And everybody, for the, for the most part, everybody's really cool. The people you meet in the campground, the cabins, they're all, they're all just good old boys and girls going hunting and like to chit chat about hunting and share share what they're doing. So it's pretty neat. You don't run into that a lot of places. A lot of and places. A lot of places you go. Everybody's pretty hush hush. Like, well, you know, yeah. I didn't see nothing. Well, you got deer hanging there. Where'd you see? Where'd you get that? I didn't see nothing. Uh, I think down here. I mean, you're talking. You got sixty thousand acres here. The chances of somebody stumbling into your spot. I mean, yeah. Obviously, you're gonna have people. You know, moving around, and you're gonna you're gonna see people. That's inevitable, but there's a pretty good chance you can get away from people if you want to. Yeah, so. so we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna get in there and check our cameras. We're excited to see what's on camera. We got some little side bets going on. How many bucks we got on camera? <laughs> These cameras have been. When was that? August when we came and switched to cards. I'm trying to think. I think I believe that was August. Either late July or early August we came in and we switched to cards. And we had a couple, I would say, shooter bucks then on camera already. Yeah, I mean, and they, yeah, still, they had still had some time in, to grow. They yet. still had, we're in the development stages, so we'll see. Like I said, excited to see what it looks like in there. Hopefully, it's tore up like it's been in past years. This is my, this will be my first year hunting in this area. Nick and uh, Dad and Mom and Rachel were here last year and hunted the same area. You guys said you saw deer every every day, right? We seen deer every day. Yeah. That's a that's a big plus because the last time I was down here, I sat seven days and didn't see a deer till the last day, which makes for a long hunt. And it's this area. I mean, it's a huge, huge forest, and the deer move around so much that you know you have a spot like where we seen all these deer last year. We go up here now, and it could be dead zone, nothing. That that's what happened at the other spot that we were hunting. There was. Good deer movement, seeing deer, and well, that, I think they follow the feed. I think it depends because there's a lot of oaks, so I think it depends where like the heaviest acorns are. So it's kind of like how we hunt up north. Right. I think they follow the feed, and then until it gets to a certain point where you know, like it sounds like where we're in, where it's just a bonanza and they run everywhere. That, and then I think that uh, I think a lot of it's the logging. Wherever the logging is, the new growth coming up that moves deer around because where we had shot. Where you shot your big one and where I shot my first one down here, that was in, you know near where they had logged. We were close by to that, and then I think that growth got so big that they kind of moved on to the next one, you know. So it's definitely interesting. It's a challenge, which makes it fun. A lot of guys come down. We talked to a lot of guys. They've been down here for years, and they might have only killed one buck, but I think the kind of like the allure of it, like. You get one or two of them big ones on camera, or you catch a glimpse of them, or you're, you're fortunate enough to shoot one, kind of gets in you, and it's like, okay, I want, I want to do that again. And even though a lot of times you're not successful, boy, it still draws you to it. So uh, yeah, we are probably another 10, 15 minutes out on our drive. Another hunter in there. Yeah. So we will uh, sit back and keep our eyes open and. Uh, catch up with you when we're in the woods all right this is the initial head in we're gonna get you on the deer target stand just following mom and dad and we're gonna head up the baby here all right we're filming at each spot so you guys step by step There's a little bit of a shelf and then it continues up like this. So where you are is on that shelf. They're almost like an old logging trail that they skidded all this shit on them. Yeah, it looks so like a deer later, path. they can't come they know nothing's coming up that wall. Right. So that's where they have to come past you. I talk that's the case. The rocks are very slippery. Yeah. The whole part is getting 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way too. Alright, I uh, turned you guys off because it got pretty treacherous coming up the hill. I will. film when we go down but uh, it's pretty nasty getting up here but we just radio guy at the uh, Mike and Nick on the other side of the property and they uh, said they ran into a few rubs a few scrapes by the truck but once they got up to where they were going to set up there wasn't much I walked in on the wrong shelf below this and I found two rubs on big cedars and then uh, came up here to the shelf that I'm actually setting up on. I got to the tree we picked out, which is pretty good. I mean, it's in the open, but this whole thing is kind of hardwoods open. But about uh, 10 yards right in front of the stand, there's a big fresh scrape that looks like it was opened up. So I'm gonna walk down, grab the camera off the tree and see if there's any more scrapes. Down this little way here. I didn't walk in on it, so there's gonna be more scrapes that way. But, uh, We'll see. I'm going to leave my stuff here, and if I find a better tree down there, I will come back and grab it. But this is the tree that we picked originally, so it works. See, I walked in on that shelf, but I should have walked this one. But right here. Here's a big old up scrape. And right there's the stand I'm gonna be in. I was thinking that tree, but there's not any cover around at this. I at least have the shrubs and stuff below me. So I'm gonna just follow this up, go up a little ways, and it cuts over to where the camera is. So I'll get up there, pull that camera, and see what we got. Last year I shot my buck, become 
here. Yeah. He worked his way up to me there. So we're going to set the stuff here. And I'll tiptoe up there to see what it looks like where it was last year. Because if there's more sign, then I'll push back there a little more. But I'm kind of to it. Yeah. Well, that in the trail we walked in on is on the top of that ridge. Of that and there's a lot of uh, hoof prints and stuff. You can see where they got the leaves all kicked up and the pine needles. Yeah. So let's go check it out. set up up there and did not like it. The tree was leaning hard. It just wouldn't be safe. He's he constantly fighting to lean back with their, you know, to try leaning in with the tree. So we looked over and found a better spot. So let's get him set up there. had Nick's camera set up right there and we were getting those pictures of those deer falling right here so he's got a 20 yard shot to that about a 25 yard shot to the top of the ridge oh yeah he's he could if he needed to alright we're gonna get him down here safely and uh, pack up the camera gear and head over to my spot. I am, if you can see those pine, it's like a pine plantation that r runs the edge of that ridge. I'm gonna go around the edge here and go, I'm just on the edge, of, on the other side of that pine plantation. There's a big funnel that comes up. So we'll see what it looks like over there so far. Some buck rubs and, and one possible scrape close to the truck. Nothing as we got in here. But uh, we'll see what it looks like over by me. Then we'll check the camera cards when we get back and uh, see what mom and dad and Mitch, which they parked on the other side of the public and came in. And uh, we're both kind of we're attacking it from two angles here. So we'll see what they but there's area show. So, all right, we'll catch you by my spot.
everything and I'm right off of this main trail that runs right here <coughs> that uh, camera and that scrape was literally like it looked like we made a mock scrape but we didn't and I mean it's perfect so I'm excited to check that trail camera I'm sure there's gonna be bucks I just don't know if they're gonna be the caliber bucks that we're going after or not but we should be in for a good week Well, we made it up to Geraldine's spot. Yeah. She sets up right here in this little hollow, right up in here. And you're, you got a saddle coming down across here, goes up the other ridge. They like to come from down below and run this area. And then they get up in behind her. This is like an old logging path going way up over there. So we'll get her stand set up and we'll go from there. Okay, we've uh, got one of our new chairs here that we're setting up. Uh, our partnership with Tai Dui gave us a chair to try out. Yeah, it's been setting up pretty easy. You just have the base here. You screw on. I'm gonna get it in position here. The lights are fully adjustable. I'll be able to you want to hold the camera. See if it's the right height. So you can see over the blind. We set up a ghost blind here. And this chair will work perfect if she can turn to shoot. Quiet, not a sound. Super quiet. Not a sound. Love that. Are you able to shoot between there? Yep. So we don't, because it is adjustable, so we can come up about another five or six inches, but I think the height is set right. Everything looks good. I think it looks nice. It's got a nice quilted cover on there so she can stay warm if it's a little chilly in the morning. Looks good. Definitely a, a quality product. Ready? That we're walking on. That bears where my sand is. Yeah, that's under the tree. They like to come across. There's a saddle right here. And then it drops, and there's another saddle up here that we're going to walk down. And then we have mom set up on the other side. And right over there is like three big ass scrapes. So hopefully, hopefully, we're in the money. They pulled all the cameras. We're going to check them all and see what kind of see what kind of sign and pictures we got. Okay. This is where I have my cell camera on. I put a mock scrape right there. And I had a rope hanging here. And there's deer tracks in it. We've had a couple of pictures in the last couple of days. But just off to the side, there's, there's one. There's another scrape. There's two more up the trail like that. They go right through that thick stuff. Looks like they're coming right through here. And right down in there is where Geraldine is sitting. So they're right between us on this saddle here. So we're just going to turn the camera a little bit. Try to point it this way if you can. Okay. Alright, we just got by mom. We got dad all set. And the way that that blends in is insane. Yeah. I mean... If mom was sitting, she'd be disappeared. She'd be gone. Okay. We're gonna head out. Yeah, that is. 
So you looked at where we were there. So you did go that far. Because it, it goes right up on the other side and it's sitting right there. Yeah. So we'll uh, reconvene back at the truck. We're going to wait for Mike and Nick. It sounds like they had quite a bit done. So we'll see what they saw, what they got for sign. in the tree. That is a scrape so, for sure. I'm gonna get the climber put up. I'll climb up. Let's see what it looks like. I brought some stuff along to add to a scrape. So let's freshen that rope up over there. We put up this spring. Looking good though. Alright, well we just followed my trail. Or followed made my trail to come out. You know, some people laugh at people for bright eyes, but I put a couple bright eyes in both ways so you can see one in and out. I'm a firm believer in having a nice trail in and out so you're not bumbling and fumbling around in the morning in the dark or in the night when you're trying to come out. You can just sneak in, sneak out, and you just follow the lights. You know, some people get a little carried away and it looks like an airport runway at night when it lights up, but there's nothing wrong with a couple of them placed well here and there. So Nick just went and got his pack. So we're gonna head over just here on the radio that Mitch, Mom, and Dad are all done. So we're gonna head, head in, uh, take our way back to the truck slowly, then head back to the cabin, check the cameras, and see what we got. It is getting warm now. Yes, sir, it is. I'm gonna take this off for a little bit. I already got this all strapped on. So. We'll see you back at the cabin. Things are coming down. Trying to get an idea. It's kind of a washout trick. We got a spot to go through here. And we can come around through, close up what leaves and gets all the way down in by the creek. Coming down there, you can see where this gets washed out. Washes so through, it washes everything down and then it pools down here in the bottom as a creek. All right, we're heading out. First afternoon sit. We uh, originally were not planning on hunting this afternoon. Well, we were planning on hunting, but not not our spots. Not our started. spots. We were planning on going in, getting everything set up, and then do some ground pounding this afternoon. Check some other spots, and maybe just try to sit and you know rattle and move around and ground hunt. But after further review with checking the cameras, well, mostly my camera. Most, Mitch, of most of the action of Mitch just has been in the morning. Yeah. But Mitch, by Mitch's stand, he has some whoppers on there. It's nice we'll, box, uh, really nice box. We'll put some of the pictures of the bucks in the video here. But he's got some some really nice shooter bucks on camera. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he's got some massive scrapes by him. Dad's got some some good scrape action over, kind of between him. He's not set up right on the scrapes. He's set up halfway. They're like in between him and mom. So hopefully they can both catch deer going back and forth to the scrape. Um, Nick, unfortunately, <laughs> didn't have much action on his camera. But that don't mean a whole lot. I mean, this time of year, they can move anywhere. He sat in the same area last year and he saw deer every sit. So we know they're around. My camera, I had bucks last, last four days in, four a, row days in a row in the afternoon. And two of them, and two of those days was bucks in the morning. Yep, and there's two different eight pointers and what, like a five pointer? Is that one? Um, I was thinking the one is that the one with the big that looks like a giant spike that I had on mine too? I think the giant spike was there, and there was a smaller, like a basket rack buck. Okay, then like a heavy racked, tight eight pointer, and then a bigger, longer beamed 
a pointer. I think that's that fella that we had on camera right there. Kind of looked like him. Nick did have a husky feller with a beard on his camera, not me. Not one of me. But, uh. But that seriously looked like him. Did you guys look up? Can we shoot coyotes with our license? From what we read online. From what we read online, you just need a hunting license to shoot coyotes because we have seen a ton of them. Between the coyotes, bobcats, and coons, the cameras have been lit up. Right now, one almost looks like a wolf. It does. We can post some pictures in here. Let us know what you think. If you think wolf, I'm sure it's just a coyote. coyote but it looks like wolf it. I mean, dog. I don't know. It's it's. So there's two of them. There's that reddish colored one that's goofy looking. That one, it's got to be a mix of a dog. mix with a dog because it's got a dog look to it, but it's also got a coyote look to it. Because yeah. we've seen like in Kansas and stuff, we've seen some really red coyotes. Oh yeah. But this one's like really really red. And uh. Yeah, so we are heading out. It is 64 degrees at 2.30 in the afternoon. Not ideal. Not ideal. But it was this warm yesterday, and there was that shooter buck in front of my stand at 4.30, quarter to 5-ish. Mm -hmm. And that so, other guy in camp there across from us shot that. Yeah, a really couple of uh, gentlemen from Vermont we were talking to this morning. Came out to make breakfast. We saw that big one. He shot that last night. Came in to, a, I think he was grunting. He said he was grunting and he came in because he had it on his uh, cell cam a couple hundred yards away on a scrape and he said all of a sudden he seen it cutting through. But that was in the afternoon as well and it was just as warm yesterday as it is now. It's supposed to be about the same, which it's, I, just, I just said that and now it's climbing up. It's 68 degrees. Um, supposed to be about the same temperature all week long. So but it'll be it, cool in the mornings. I'm, I'm looking forward to the morning. It is what it is. We are going to be trying to take our time on a walk in so we don't get too sweated up. Just but watch everything and try not to bump anything. Spray down good. We got the uh, Ever Calm. We'll put on our boots. It's all we can do. It's warm, but we gotta, we're here. The deer, is, the deer action is up, so we gotta, we gotta sit the stands when we can. So, all right. We'll uh, catch up with you on the walk out. Again, I'll spray down. Realistically, we probably should have got the spray with us, but we're gonna take our time. We're still climbing the mountain. And, uh, I look forward to be able to settle in our comfy stands once we get there. So, all right. Hopefully, the next time you see us, we're in our stands. I 
First day hunt here in Ohio. Hoping for some, at least to see a deer tonight would be nice. So, all Dwayne and all the boys are out as well. Hopefully, we have a good, safe hunt. We'll keep you posted if we see anything. I might die last year. 
I'm uh, sitting over on that side. It seemed like it'd be removing through here. And I could hear stuff up on this ridge behind me. So now I got to where I can shoot to this ridge behind me. Shoot where these deer are coming through and I'm still right on the edge of the saddle. I think it's a good spot. Cameras didn't show a whole lot, but cameras only capture a little window on one trail. So, still pretty optimistic that there's a good chance of being able to through this area. Feels good to be back up in the tree. Yeah. So, he's there. 
a little more actually. Two hours. So I gotta stop yawning. Tired.
going on out here, big homie? Big homie. Making supper. Got some burgers on the grill. Got the trucks all set. Work the kinks out tonight. Tomorrow we kill. Let's hope so. The should be blue. It's in the morning. I don't know if I'm sitting in the afternoon. That was too warm. Yeah, that was a bit warm. Holy moly, was I sweaty by the time we got in there. And you weren't even sitting in the sun. Where do you think we were? <laughs> in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> you were on the shaded side of the yeah, mountain. And I had three in the afternoon. You weren't on the shaded damn side. I'm the mountain, Mitch. Where do you think they were? Look at the pan on this boy. He's had the sun all day. All day. <sighs> You're running the mountain. <coughs> Got some good old baggers on there. Good drink, master. I'm ready for bed. Oh, good day. Ah, that's not true. Dad's seen a little spiker. You know the spiker? How big was it? Drove 10 hours, 4,200 miles. You rode in the truck for 10 hours. <laughs> that's, not, that's not right. That math don't add up. Ah. <laughs> that don't add up. <laughs> How, many miles? How many miles was it to get here? The first thing I see is a spike. At least you saw it, dear. Yeah. yeah. My my Wisconsin bow hunting experience followed me right to yeah. Ohio. I don't think you guys are looking behind the tree. You gotta look around the trees. Fourteen ninety nine. They're shopping. Shopping, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty excited about the morning. I'm hoping that the morning's gonna be good. I'm looking at buck pictures. Everybody on the deer hunting trip. Everybody says the morning's gonna be good. Everybody we've heard, everybody we've talked to says don't miss a morning. Evenings are BS. There's a lot of well, squirrels. Well, tomorrow to afternoon tonight. we're going to be in the hot tub if it's working. Maybe we'll get some wood that actually burns and have a fire. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah, that piss so many words. Piss <laughs> So, yeah. alright. That's a wrap for day one. Here in the great state of Ohio. We are going to be I hitting the hay here shortly hour. because alarm is going off in a couple hours. Yeah. Guess good old daylight savings. Thanks a lot, Biden. Weren't we it's supposed to? Thanks a lot, Biden. Don't we're we get a... We're supposed to fall back, right? So we're supposed to gain an hour of sleep. You technically do because midnight it turns to 11 o'clock. <laughs> Mike just stared at the camera. 11 o'clock. Wait, are you serious? So we gain sleep tonight. We too good. We gain it, but we also lose it because we have to get up. I'm going minute. to bed. Oh, picture on the corner, stand at home. Good night. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, Dad. Love you.